Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'll be talking to you guys about Purito Skincare. A lot of you guys have actually told me to review this brand, and I think this will be my first K Beauty brand on my channel. This is just the beginning of the K Beauty series, so get ready. Um, I'm really excited to review this brand because, like I said, it's my first K Beauty brand, but also because I really am like an Asian skincare enthusiast. I love all things Asian skincare. I think that they have like an amazing approach to skincare. They have really just changed the game when it comes to skincare. So I'm really excited about today's video. If you're new here, I'm April. I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel. We're all about skincare here. So if you enjoy all things skincare from a science-based perspective, definitely follow the channel because you're in for a treat on skincare. All right, you guys, let's get into this video. So as usual, I'll be talking about the products in order of how we would apply the products in like a nighttime routine or morning routine, whatever. I'll be going in that step. I'm not going to be talking about all the products on their website. If I did that, we'll be here all day, which I don't want that to happen. So I'm just gonna pick and choose the products that I thought would be beneficial to you guys. If you have any questions about any other products that I did not mention in this video, definitely leave me a comment below and I will answer it as soon as I can, okay? All right, starting with the Pareto Green Deep Foaming Cleanser. This one is $15. I might be talking really weird throughout this video. <laughs> I am on an Invisalign journey, which is very interesting <laughs> to say the least. So yeah, if I pronounce words really funky, especially my Eps, Eps, <laughs> that's why. Okay. Their pricing is relatively the same. I noticed that throughout their website, a lot of it is around $15 to $20. I think it's a great price point considering they could price it a lot higher because it's an Asian skincare brand after all, but it didn't. So I really found that really amazing with this brand. So I noticed with this cleanser, just like a lot of other popular cleansers these days, it has coconut-based surfactants. The sodium cocoa isothionate is an anionic primary surfactant. So right off the bat, if you have a coconut allergy, if you have an allergic contact, Contact irritation to coconut based skincare definitely do not invest in this product aside from the surfactant though I didn't really see anything special about this product to be honest it was pretty basic I mean it had everything else that you see in today's surfactant so there's anything special about it so I don't think this is that great of an investment to make all right moving on to the second cleanser on their website they have this Pareto defense barrier ph cleanser actually this one is a lot cheaper than a lot of the other products on their website this one comes in at 12 dollars this one has cocomido propylbutane as its primary surfactant i don't support having cocomido propylbutane as a primary surfactant cocomido propylbutane doesn't foam very well it's an apoteric surfactant which means it's a supporting surfactant so it shouldn't be a primary surfactant so I don't support when brands do that with their products. I think it's just kind of defeating the purpose of it being a cleanser because you're not going to get a lot of cleansing power. What I'm saying is none of these cleansers are doing the trick for me here. Okay, moving on to the next product on here, they have this Centella Green level calming toner. Centella, it's an herb that's grown solely in Asia and this herb is great at wound healing and also helps speed up antioxidant properties of other ingredients. I found that to be a really interesting ingredient because they have it in a lot of their products. It's just something I really haven't seen much around in other products. So this toner does have the Centella in it. it. also has witch hazel, which you guys know I'm not against witch hazel. I've made a video about witch hazel on this channel. You can check it out up here. It has Elantoin, which is a great skin protecting agent, really soothing to the skin. It also has rose flower oil, which rose flower is amazing for redness and rosacea. I think this toner is a great toner to have. And for a price point of about 20 bucks, I don't think it's a bad investment. Okay, moving on to the next product here is their Centella Green Level Buffet Serum. So this serum has a pH of 6.1. Our skin has a pH of between 4.5 to 5.5. So this is a little over that nice acid pH levels that our skin enjoys. Will I rule it out because of that? Mm, not really. But I I do think that you know the closer it was to that skin page the better however when it comes to ingredients this also has a centella which i think just kind of parallels into all the rest of their products 
it has niacinamide which we love on this channel niacinamide is great for hyperpigmentation for redness inflammation it's just an all-around great ingredient and it's among the first seven ingredients on this serum so you know it has a great acting power in this product all in all i think this is a great investment but it's not the best serum i've seen i think the ordinary has better serums in my opinion all right next product we're talking about here is their moisturizer which they labeled as a cream i'll be talking about the unscented one here because i know a lot of you guys on my channel love non-fragrance products even on their website a lot of the new products that they have are unscented i think they're just slowly introducing unscented products in their skincare this one is also around that 20 dollars mark it also has a contella extract you guys just know he has that contella going forward i'm not just going to keep repeating it he also has niacinamide which is amazing however the niacinamide in this case is a lot lower on the ingredient list so it might not be it might not be as strong as the niacinamide that's in their toner this one also has macadamia seed oil macadamia seed oil is a great occlusive to seal in that moisture in the skin it also additionally has squalane squalane is also a great occlusive so those two together will give you just that amazing barrier on your skin to prevent transepidermal water loss or prevent the loss of hydration from your skin really and keep your skin really 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 moist for a really long period of time so it looks like they really invested in their cursives in this formula which could be a slight issue if you have oily skin because with oily skin when you have a lot of moisture trap unless if your skin is dehydrated but if your skin is not dehydrated and you have just a lot of sebum oil being stuck on your skin and not evaporating really it could potentially be a problem other than that this is a really great moisturizer but i do think it's a little bit more suited for people with drier skin types so the last product i'm talking about here is sunscreen and i'm talking about the unscented one this one is also a new product on their website it comes in at 18 dollars it has a ph of 6.8 i wouldn't worry too much about ph when it comes to sunscreen just because sunscreen is the last thing you apply to your skin and the rest of the products you already applied before have already given you that optimum pH level on your skin so you most likely shouldn't worry about your sunscreen pH. This one is a chemical sunscreen so if you like chemical sunscreens especially for people of color chemical sunscreens tend to not leave that white cast which we love on our skin. This sunscreen is just as good as any chemical sunscreen out there in the market so I'm not going to talk about it too long it's just another sunscreen in my opinion it doesn't have anything that we are obsessed with okay moving on to their physical sunscreen the purita comfy water sunblock sunscreen this one has titanium zinc but it also has niacinamide so if you're a huge niacinamide lover you might want to get this one however just be careful not to overwhelm your skin with an ingredient because a lot of times people feel like they need a lot of benefits out of a certain ingredient and then end up just overwhelming their skin with that ingredient um, and then their skin sort of reacts by either hyperpigmentation, irritation, redness, melasma, whatever the case may be, just be aware that you should try to switch up the ingredients on your skincare routine and you're not just overwhelming your skin with a certain ingredient. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. What do you guys think about Purito skincare? If you've used their product, definitely leave in the comment below which one your favorite product is. I'm looking into investing in the skincare actually. So yeah, please let me know. I want to learn from you guys uh, before I invest my coins in this skincare brand. Like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe to this channel to join the family we're here every other day talking about skincare i'll see you guys in my next video bye